Welcome back to my channel. I am just so excited about the new purchases that I've made to ensure that my channel is going to be something amazing and relevant and up to date. It's kind of important to stand out because I want so many people to hear what I have to say and to come on here and just enjoy ourselves. Um, so tonight I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about some new things that I found for my vanity. I'm hoping to do like a vanity room tour. I'm kind of let you guys see what I'm working with and what I use every day as far as my setup here and things that I kind of incorporate into my day-to-day -day routine and then I've got this little desk over here. And I'll show you guys another time as well. But something that I just kind of redid using some things from the Target Dollar Spot, which oh, I love the Target Dollar Spot because when you're a budget, when you're a mom, we all know that we are, and we have to really kind of be careful with what we spend, how we spend, and we have to just kind of decide what we want to purchase and, and why, and if it's a necessity. But anyway, I needed some new kind of vanity creations and placeholders and things like that. So I went ahead and went to the Target Dollar Spot and I found some really great just like decor and I wanted to share those with you because I felt like it's Valentine's Day and they're probably not going to be there for too much longer so I thought I would share them with you now so that if you did want to go purchase some things they would still be there. There's so much more there that I want to get. It's just ridiculous. But I thought that I would share a couple of things with you tonight. So I needed a new brush holder or some new, I don't know, decor for brush holders. And these are actually candle holders. And they were like three bucks, I think, but they had a pink one and they're glass, so they're really good quality. So we got a pink one. And then kind of this lighter pink one for face brushes. And then we also have this white one here, which I think is so pretty because I like the color scheme. You have this divided into the colors. White one I think is really cool because it's that see-through. I like that they're glass and they were only three dollars and they're you know nice little quality. But another thing that I found that was really cool was these little guys. I think these are candy dishes. That's what they told me at Target. But I have multiple of these. I bought I think like four or five of them. And these were three bucks as well. And they're just little dishes that have like little sayings on the front here. So this one is love ya. I really like that. And I just kind of keep like my brow and my some lip stuff in this guy. But I have a pink one. And then I got a purple one. It has all of my primers and concealers. And this one says XOXO. That's really, really cute. And I just kind of keep all of my primers and concealers and then I have two more and these are just like my little extra guys so this one says awesome in two different words okay and then I've got one more little guy so this orange one I think is like my favorite color and this one is be mine and I have like all of my face creams or like my little cleansers, my little masks, things like that in this one. The big lash wear and I'll probably do a video on that. But I found this little this little box. It was only five dollars and it is perfect for keeping my lashes inside. So I just kind of set I take them out of the box sometimes. My favorites are the R Dog Glamour 113. Love those. I wear them all the time. So I just kind of have this little guy, this little box for my lashes. I was using this little MAC guy that came with the Nutcracker Sweet collection, and I was using just a couple at a time. So I just set the ones that I wear, you know, a couple in here, right on top, and then in this little box I set my other ones. So that was $5. And I just kind of set it over here on my vanity. This is so cute. 
it's my favorite. So it says shopping is my cardio and it's got like a really great color scheme. I really like this color scheme because a lot of my room, my vanity area has like the pinks and the blues and things like that. So that's something that is just my absolute favorite um, pattern. And then of course, you know, being a, being a girl who loves to shop and the, uh, like keeps me men mentally sane. Just even if I'm just browsing or like, again, going to the dollar spot, even that kind of stuff. So that was three bucks too. So basically I just went because I wanted to find some new things to decorate my room with and kind of make it a little more fresh and exciting for me because I was kind of getting bored with just like the norm of what I had in my room and it, I just wanted to kind of start to bring in new ideas. So a couple of other things I kind of wanted to share uh, just for you guys to get to know me is a couple of my favorite products. I know because I feel like some of the products that I use I just absolutely love and they're so worth talking about and if you are new to my channel I'm new to my channel um, then you guys know that it's about makeup and motherhood and kind of how we decide what we want to how we want to spend and, and if it's okay to budget that in and so these are just things that I have saved up for I uh, kind of splurged on and things that I really found are incredible quality and things that I love and I use all the time the first thing that I want to show you is my perfume that I got for Christmas and this is the live irresistible um, perfume I absolutely love this smell it's like a rosy I don't even know like a rosy springtime but I wear this a lot not every day because it is expensive and I just got the little bottle for Christmas so this was more near like the end of 2016 so I did a live uh, or I bought the live irresistible one and that's just by I think it's like Givenchy I know it's not Givenchy. I know it's not Givenchy because Kathleen Light. Kathleen Light pronounces it differently. Um, pronounces it differently, but that's the very well. That's my favorite perfume of 2016. My absolute favorite palettes of 2016. I have used so many palettes this year, from like the Violet Voss to my old school like Urban Decay. But of course, like everybody else on YouTube, my two favorite palettes have been the uh, Master Palette by Mario, which is so amazing. The colors in here are just to die for. So you've got very neutral type colors. And as you can see, I've already kind of hit pan on some of them, and that's why, obviously, it's my favorite for 2016. And then my other one, Durr, is the Modern Renaissance palette. I think everybody and their mom on YouTube is talking about this palette, but this is one of the best palettes I think I've ever had in my life. So this right here, they just have a lot of different neutral colors and they're just really amazing. Again, I've hit pan on these as well, on a couple of them, and they're just super good quality. It's, it's just a wonderful, wonderful palette. And just fell in love with was the Laura Mercier, again, everyone and their mom, uh, the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. If you have dry skin, um, I have kind of normal skin. Sometimes it's dry in, in like the really, really weird months in Utah. But if you have dry skin, this does not cling to your patches. It does not, uh, you know, stick in those pores. It's really good for setting it under eye and the entire face. Sometimes I use my Makeup Forever um, HD powder under my eyes. But the Laura Mercier is perfect for just setting the entire face, so I really, really like that. But as much makeup as I wear, it's important for me to find a powder that is like this one, and it sets really well. So the Sephora Green Tea um, Exfoliating Wipes are amazing for skin that needs to be exfoliated in the pores. I have really, really large pores, and I feel like using these eliminates a lot of that along with my other skincare and I'll probably do like a whole my favorite skincare um, video and how to take care of your skin and how to make sure that you're taking it off every night just to take care of it but I just wanted to show these bad boys really quick because these are some of the best wipes I've ever tried. They do have an exfoliating side so I don't want to waste one but they do have an exfoliating side so they are you know they have the 
what feels like the sandpaper, but these are really great for getting out those pores and just making sure that you've got a nice clean, uh, a nice clean canvas to work on and to have every time you put your makeup on. And then I'll probably show this again that I really love or have been loving is the Origins No Puffery Cooling Eye Gel. This stuff is magic in a bottle. I literally, when I wake up in the morning, I wake up at about 4, 4.30, I stick this in the freezer for about, oh, I don't know, 8 to 10 minutes. I take it out, I put it on my puffy eyes, and it is a dream come true. It takes care of the puffy eyes from anywhere, you know, 2 to 5 minutes, they're gone. And I use this every day, and it's a nice little size tube, and you don't need very much at all. But I think this was around... $20 and it is definitely worth it but again I'll go through like my whole what I think about the skincare and all of that kind of stuff in another video just so that I'm not taking up a lot of the time for this one this first guy I think everyone again <laughs> loves NARS but because I am an avid YouTube watcher I do want to share things that I have found from other youtubers that are just amazing products and this is the NARS browser in Laguna I am into the tone bronzers and this one is actually more of a cooler tone one of the bronzers that I really do like is the uh, Urban Decay bronzer and that's more of like a warm brown but this is a little bit of a cooler tone and I like this because it doesn't look muddy and I know a lot of people wear Laguna and a lot of people love Laguna and I'm just jumping on the bandwagon because it is one of the best bronzers I think I've ever tried Next is the um, Mario Badishu, but, uh, I'm not sure, Skin, the skincare, the facial spray with aloe, earth, and rose water. Oh my gosh, you guys. This stuff smells amazing. It's wonderful. I put this on. It doesn't taste wonderful, though. I put this on um, at night after my skincare, in the morning before I put my makeup on, and then after I put my makeup on, and sometimes throughout the day. But this is... Again, I'm jumping on that YouTube bag wagon. One of the best setting sprays besides like Max Fix Plus, which isn't technically a setting spray, mind you, uh, or the Urban Decay All Nighter sprays. This is just a really great, um, like affordable drugstore. It's eight bucks, I think, seven or eight dollars. And it's really great for just setting your makeup and having it stay all day long. And there's really great things for your skin in this one, which is something that I really, really love. But not least, of course, I have a ton of products. Oh, I have two more, sorry. Okay, this one is going to be no surprise. Like, honestly, you'd be like, oh yeah, we've already watched 80 million videos that have that in it. <sighs> you guys, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, it's a dream. It is a dream. I wear um, two different shades, the lightest ones, because I really like the brightening effect on my eyes. This one is in Fair Beige. Woo! And then I also wear the color Fair. This concealer is amazing. It's full coverage but hydrating, which I really like because people who do have the dry um, and dry areas and dry foreheads and dry chins, so kind of like in the T-zone. I sometimes get oily and this still does just fine, but again, because I have normal skin, this has been one of my favorite concealers in 2016 and I feel like it is just every makeup lover's like necessity. If you don't have this yet, you need to get your hands on this because it is one of the best concealers I have ever tried. Last but not least, I just wanted to mention a couple of highlighters. I really feel like highlighting is like my my drug. I have to be able to find a highlighter that does what I want it to. I'm one of those women or that really like to have the highlighting and just kind of show that the nice um, cheekbones and just the the face having that nice color to it. So I have two different highlighters that I really love. Ofra Cosmetics is a great company, you guys. And my favorite highlighter from them, and you can tell, is the Rodeo Drive highlighter. I really like the Beverly Hills one as well, but the Rodeo Drive one is just amazing. It has amazing pigment. You guys look at that. It's just, it's just so wonderful. I mean, that swatch is just gorgeous. So this is one of my favorite highlighters to use at the moment for 2016, the Rodeo Drive Highlighter by Oprah Cosmetics. And then my other one that I've kind of been loving is the Makeup Peak Luster Highlighter. This one has a mirror too, so this guy is beautiful as well. It's one of the best highlighters I think I've tried. And this one is more of a pink tone, um, but it also has just amazing, amazing pigment. 
So here is the Ofra Rodeo Drive, and here is the Makeup Geek Luster. And they're just beautiful, beautiful highlighters. I don't know if you guys can see that that well, but. So those are my favorite products for 2016, and just some ideas on what you could put into your vanity areas. Even if you have just a smaller vanity area, the stuff from the Dollar Spot at Target is a great alternative to getting um, some of the other containers that are more expensive or some of the other holders that are more expensive. I do have the Allen stores and things like that, and yes, those are great, but they, they are pricey, and so just finding things around your house or that are inexpensive, especially as a mom, um, on a budget who needs to stick to making sure that she still is kind of taking care of herself and sure that she has her moments to relax and, and do what she needs. It's also important to remember that there are other things that you have to take care of as a mother. And so for me, being able to shop at the dollar spot and being able to find drugstore alternatives to makeup, especially some of my favorites are the expensive brands and they are just great things, great, great, great brands. So I think that's all I have for you tonight in this video. I am so grateful that I have started this channel and I'm so excited to post videos and just practice and learn and upload and edit and just learn kind of the ropes and hopefully I can make uh, this channel be something really positive and something that you guys will all want to tune into and find out about. So thank you so much again for tuning into my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there and leave me a comment and remember to hit that bell so you know anytime that I upload a new video, they're going to keep getting better and better and better. And remember, don't ever let anybody tell you that you have to be something that you don't want to be and never have to fit into that box and apologize for who you are and who you want to be in life and don't ever let anybody tell you that you have to conform to something just to fit in with society thanks so much for watching you guys again don't forget to subscribe but subscribe and have a great night thanks so much